what's up guys welcome back or to the channel and today we've got another quick one and we've got another quick one with the gladiator so as you can see I'm in the Jeep right now what I have for you guys today is a way to save your hinges the, if you have ever taken your Jeep off road or even if you've gone on a long road trip uh, I remember the first road trip I took my hinges got destroyed on the back roads and it's just basically because of the way that the Jeep is the tires just kick up rocks and even if you have full fenders like I still have full fenders I have stock wheels everything is stock it still kicks rocks at your actual hinges so I have a quick solution for you but it is uh, a little bit dusty <laughs> my Jeep has been sitting in a garage underground where they've been doing construction so I don't know if you can see it but it is quite dusty there's a good layer of filth so I am at the coin op I'm gonna wash the Jeep real quick and then I'll show you guys my solution well at least I know I don't need to wax it this time because the water is still beating up pretty damn good but uh, to be honest I haven't even started yet <laughs> I just wet it down so now let's do a wash and yes I do a proper two bucket wash when I have the time so let's hit it uh, frequently the future is looked at as being a, be a very mechanical machine like thing with, with robots and people who are like robots do you have any fears about the, the future in your son? No, 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 no whatsoever. I, describe I, that. I, I don't. I don't think. I think that a, a human being, a human species, will always control machines. I can never see machines taking over. As long as there's someone to sit that has to sit and push the buttons and input the information, and someone who has emotions and feelings, uh, machines will never take over. Okay, now she is clean, real clean. We even did the inside of the wheel wells, everything is perfect. And if you guys were wondering how the Mopar tunnel cover does, you do get a little bit of water inside. Not much, just a little bit, but uh, yeah, not too bad. So now, uh, one thing I did notice actually, I came here, today's Monday, I came here Friday to wash my TJ and uh, you can see where I parked. Now, I am gonna be coming back to wash it again because if you guys watched the last video, I've already taken it off-road since then. So uh, I'll be adding to that. But for now, let's go and let's take care of the Gladiator and do those hinges. Now, what we've got for the hinges is rock stoppers. And this fits a Wrangler JL or a Gladiator. And these are the four-door edition. So we have enough to do all of our hinges. And basically what this is, is a 12 mil thick, um, uh, what's the word, paint protection film. So it basically stops rock chips, it will protect against any kind of debris hitting it, any kind of contact that you make with anything when you take the hinge, or take the door off, if you make contact with anything like the hangers inside of your garage or anything like that. So let's get these open and let's go do them because I can already show you guys one hinge that got destroyed just from driving on the highway. So I already repainted it. Don't know how well it's gonna focus on that, but it was a pretty good sized chip. So yeah, we definitely do not want to deal with that again. I think I had another one over here and some somewhere else, but uh, the paint match that I used actually worked really well. So now let's go and let's protect the hinges from having it happen again. So I will say it is a super clean and easy install. You can see it wraps around right into there. There's a little air bubble that I got to get out on that one. That was the first one I did, but the second one came out great. You don't even see that it's on there and it covers right up to the top, all the way to the bottom. And we'll do the next one, hopefully with one hand. Let's see how this turns out. You can see it is quite a thick film. So let's see if we can line this one up. And something like that. Sorry, I didn't get the best angle. I was trying to kind of focus over there, but you can see 
they go on really easy and they're pretty much invisible once they're on there you don't even know that it's there you do see a little seam right there but to be honest i rather have that little seal uh, seam than have any rock chips and they're super easy to take off and replace if you need to and they were actually pretty cheap now this is not a sponsored video i did buy this product myself i actually bought them on amazon and yeah so far so good let me bang out the rest of these and i'll show you guys the finished product all right so that took me all of about 15 minutes to do all the hinges and one thing that I did notice is that you kind of want to line it up on the inside here. So this one I set a little bit too far out, but I'll show you one that I did properly. Uh, this one I didn't do that well either. This was the first one I did. <laughs> Let's walk around to the other side. Here. So you want to basically line that lip up with this so that it's all covered all the way and then it'll wrap around to a boat here and that gives you more than enough coverage because if a rock's coming it's coming from this direction so it's going to be hitting this face and you definitely want to protect in there as well as right around to here now this one i did actually take off and reposition so the corner here isn't perfect but you could see you can actually do that. You can take them off and reposition them. So I did that here and it kind of came out. So now we've got all our hinges finished. All our hinges are protected. And I think I will be grabbing another set of these just to have a spare in case I want to switch any of them out or in case any of them start to peel because of the way I applied them. But to be honest, they are cut really well. They stick really well and i have no complaints with these i think that they're actually going to protect it really well and it's a good product for the price that i paid i think it was like 30 bucks cannot complain at all a lot better than having to touch up any paint later and they are actually a 3m film so good stuff and they even gave me a sticker which i threw in right here so you can see there's the build so far we are picking up our new wheels tomorrow I do already have the steering stabilizer and my shocks, uh, rock stoppers, recovery gear, and taser. So more mods to come soon, but for now, I think we're done for today. Well guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I think that uh, I'm ready to go pick up my new wheels and tires, and that is the reason that we were doing this today, is because I am picking up new wheels and tires. I will be throwing on some 37s at stock height, and we will be going off-roading for a bit before I throw on the lift. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, then definitely jump down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. We're almost done the video, but uh, honestly, right now I just want to get home and finish my day. It's been a long day, it's 9 p.m., I know that this was a short video for you guys, usually I do a lot longer video, but we do have a couple more things that we need to take care of before we pick up the tires. I think I'll be getting my tires either tomorrow or the day after, and I'll be taking you guys along the for, uh, along with me for the ride. Continuous recording will now start. Oh, excuse me. So, uh, basically what's going to happen is I need to drop off my spare because I'm going to be trying to put the 37 inch spare in there. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to have to basically go drive down there get those tires either see if they fit in the back or put my 33s in the back and drive back with those and I think I also need to take off my corner caps so all of that's coming in the next video and like I said I was gonna see or I was gonna show you guys the wheels and tires in the next gladiator video which is this video but unfortunately I had this to do first and I didn't want to just make that video all about getting ready for the wheels and tires so the next video will be picking up the wheels and tires <laughs> so thank you guys for watching Thank you guys for sticking around. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please share this video. Please subscribe to this channel. And please throw me a like because we're trying to get to 10K by the end of the summer. And hopefully, with your help, we can get there, guys. But until then, guys, ride safe out there. Peace.